it's that time again monthly favorites i love doing these videos you guys know i do because i get to share the best of what i've been trying for the month with you guys and talk about things that i've been reaching for over and over again you guys know the drill we're not going to take very long but if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing i would love to have you here as a part of our youtube family and if you guys wouldn't mind just taking a second and giving me a thumbs up on this video that really does help my video get generated out there so more people can see it and i sure appreciate you guys being here with me today i've got some wonderful goodies to share with you so let's get into this so it doesn't take too long and let's see my may monthly favorites for 2020. okay we're going to start off with hair care there are, is only one product that i want to talk about but but I do want to talk about it because it's summer and as I get closer to summer I like to wear a more lightweight product in my hair because I have very fine hair and I need a thickening agent because it isn't very thin but it is very fine and it just kind of it's very limp and as you can see today it's hotter than the Dickens so I just had to pull this mop back but this is my amazing hair full and thick shape building spray that gives you texture volume and control now after I I use my leave-in conditioner I will use this and I actually it says to spray it on your hair I actually don't do that because I find that you can get it too concentrated in one area so I'll spray it on my hands rub my hands together and then just piece it through my hair and the nice thing about it is it does give a really great texture it does give body now as far as the control that it does say that it gives I don't feel like it gives me very much control I do use a separate mousse for that but as far as thickening and giving me volume and really helping my hair to have a little bit texture and a little bit more PC it's great for that and you put it on damp towel dried hair so really have been loving that I've had it for a few months but I hadn't mentioned it before and I wanted to mention it and I got it on Ulta now for skincare I have talked until I'm absolutely blue in the face but I'm going to mention it one more time because this truly has been my favorite product of the month and it is the good molecules niacinamide brightening toner this has niacinamide licorice root vitamin c and alpha arbutin and the niacinamide is actually really good to help um, our pores and the congestion in our pores to clean out those pores and the vitamin C the alpha arbutin the um, licorice root all of those are brightening agents niacinamide is also a brightening agent so this has worked for me like nothing I have tried I mean you can get products and you can find that over several times of using it like different tubes up or different bottles up that it finally works for you that's not what this is. i think this one worked for me within three to four weeks and i was noticing that my pores were looking more refined the redness that i have right through here was kind of diminishing and my skin would just had a brighter texture so i absolutely love this and i think i've talked about it in four or five videos this month but it is such a good product and i can't quit talking about it and, and i'd I not be without it i've ordered an extra for a backup and i just think it's just a great product Product. I also loved this from the inky list. This is the po polyglutamic acid probably saying that wrong But what intrigued me about getting this is when I read on it the description of it It said that this holds four times the water weight that hyaluronic acid does Hyaluronic acid holds a thousand times its water weight its weight in water. Excuse me That's really saying something to be able to say that four thousand times its weight in water it will hold for your skin that's amazing but if you're having some trouble with hyaluronic acid you're having trouble with these kind of products that say that and yet they don't deliver the hydration that you need it's because your skin needs to be wet before you put this on so a tiny tiny bit of this goes a long this way this stuff has been really really great and my skin has been plumped and moisturized and i've absolutely been loving it now i just reordered these so i thought you know what this has got to be a love because i reordered them right these are some beauty sponges that i got from beaky and this is a company that you order off of amazon i've never had them come any different i've never had them be any different than they are right here it comes in a package of five and you get them i think it's like only ten dollars so this is like two dollars each this is an identical dupe for the beauty blender and i don't say that lightly because i know people have their love affair with the beauty blender and i was one of them until i discovered these and this acts just like it now when it's plumped up or when it's got all of the water in it this is a dry one 
it gets about twice this size. It is so soft and so easy to use. Actually, okay, actually this one is the dirty one. Sorry, it's one I just used today. So this is the size it gets, but this is so soft, you guys, and it works so good. And I absolutely love it. I love that you can get five of them for hardly anything. You're not paying that $20 price tag for a beauty blender and I, the winner all the way around for me. Now, I wanna talk to you about a product that I absolutely Oh my gosh, you guys, this was the biggest fail I think I've purchased in a very long time and I'm so mad <laughs> at this. Have you guys seen this flawless razor advertised on TV? That's what made me get it because I hate shaving my legs in the shower. For one thing, my back hurts when I do it and it's just not something that is real comfortable for me. So I'm always looking for a really good electric razor that will do a really good job on my legs because I have yet to find a one that gives you as close of a shave as you would get with an actual razor. This was horrible, you guys. This is a horrible, horrible razor. Please don't get it because it does have a light on it and it does, you know, it does everything they say, but this, ca this catches the skin. It actually gave me several cuts on my uh, around my knees and it does not even come close. You have stubble like a guy has a beard when you're done. And it's just like, I don't need a five o'clock shadow if I'm gonna try to get my legs done with this. So this is actually a very big fail. Please steer clear of this. I could not make it work. It was not one that I enjoyed at all. Now, you guys probably remember me if you've been with me for a long time that this one though is from Panasonic and this is the one that I have used for a few years now, but it finally died on me and it's not doing a good job and the top of it is getting kind of worn out. You know, you do have to replace these heads, getting kind of worn out and not doing a great job anymore. And I was really pleased with this, this Panasonic one. I will link it because it is, you know, quite a bit less expensive, but it finally did die on me. And so I was like, what am I gonna do? I need a razor that I can just use, you know, when I'm like in bed or when I'm just wanting to do it really quick when I'm going out or something. And my husband hands me his. And you guys, I love this thing. Actually, I don't think, yeah, I don't think this came with it. I think the razor just came with it. He found that. He handed me his and he says, here, honey, try this one. And this is called Rose, Rosia Pro, R-O-Z-I-A Pro. Anyway, so we got this for him off of Amazon. He was really excited about it. He wanted to use it and he just doesn't use it because he has a, a job where he has to wear a hazmat suit. So he has to be very, very clean shaven all the time. So he used a razor now, but that's beside the point. When he gave it to me and the first time I used it, I was hooked. It has five heads in here and this moves around and hugs the curves of your legs so good. But this, if you, you know, you do have to work with it. Like any um, electric razor, it's not just going to, on the first pass, get your face really smooth. But it's it works better than any of these other ones I've ever tried. And I've had another one that was a Panasonic that I thought was good too. But then I got this and I'm like, holy Moses, what I've been missing out on. So I wanted to mention this to you guys. It does have this flip up thing right here. It does have this flip up trimmer right here that you can use if you're gonna buy it for a guy, which I think it would be a great gift for a guy that hates shaving, but wants to have, you know, close, fairly close to his face. It doesn't give you that slick smoothness that you get with a razor, but I'm telling you, you feel smooth. So I really do like this and I think it would make a great gift for a guy. It is rechargeable and it does come with a little brush so you can use it that way for, you know, cleaning your face. And it comes with a very dense brush as well well that does a very deep cleaning so this brush is really super dense so it comes with all those extras and it is rechargeable and I just think it's great I was one that was just like okay this was really good I was glad that I bought it for him so I got it that's how I felt about it. it's like okay I'm glad you didn't like it as much as I do okay on to the makeup I'm gonna retouch my lips with the Sephora I think this is called vo uh, volume booster or something like that lip plumper or something like that. It does have the cooling effect like the Buxom glosses do, but I love this stuff, you guys. I've been using this for a couple years now in another color, and they just came out with like six more colors, and I love it. And this one is, I think, just called pink. So it has a, a sheen to it, but it doesn't change the color of your lipstick very much, so it's still see-through. I love that about it. I love that it lasts a long time. I love that it's not super sticky. I love the cooling effect and I love that it makes your lips look really juicy and plump. So that was th something that I got this month that I really love. All right, so 
I could not let this month go by without telling you guys that I have fallen completely head over heels in love with Sydney Grace Enduring Love Palette. This look that I'm wearing today is going to be in a tutorial where I actually do several looks out of this palette. You guys, this is the best everyday palette I think I've ever gotten. I love this thing. It has so many different colors in it that are still neutral, but you can still work them into warm tones, cool tones, pop of color, really soft, whatever you want to do, smoky, dramatic, whatever you want to do, it's in here. This is the light one, and then there is a dark one. What she did when she developed the two colors is the light one has all of these transition shades right here, and they are pretty much just changed in the dark one to be either a little bit a little bit warmer and a little bit deeper. So for me, this is ideal. It creates beautiful looks and I have absolutely fallen in love with this thing. These metallics in here are some next level beaming gorgeous metallics. And this color over here, which is kind of a semi-metallic color, it's just brightness. And I have it on my lid today. It's just a bright color and every single look that I create I can put that bright color on and it just be seamless with it so this one is just hands down my favorite palette right this, now I've reached for this at least more than three-quarters of the time this month and just haven't been able to put it down and I think it's just fantastic the mats are silky blendable amazing amazing quality if you've been hearing about it and you've been wondering about it and you thought well it's a little bit too pricey i know that she did give me a 15 percent off coupon to use so if you want to use it you're welcome to i don't use i don't get a commission from it it's just i told her i didn't want a commission especially in the times we're living in right now and it's just an indie brand so it's just her doing this um she might have a couple employees now but anyway whatever it is she's doing a really good job and i absolutely loved it so it's for 15 percent off using my code and um i think you guys will love it i think you'll absolutely love it i'm over, head over heels in love with it and can't wait to get some new singles that she has and i'm um, just really excited about that palette couple things that i've shown you during the month that i'm excited about that i talked about are the brushes from sonia kashuk i went to target i did a haul this is a fan brush that has a stippling edge on the on the end really really soft but dense down here i've been doing all of my contour with it this is perfect for me it gives you such a good line but it gives you a really great blend because it has those really soft edges and then this one right here I've been using it's a tiny bit too big for my blush, even though I have used it for the blush, but it's great for doing bronzer and just, you know, getting the right amount of bronze all over and blends so good because it's just the right amount of density, but the right amount of softness too. So these two brushes I've been in love with all month and using like crazy. And then I also put in my dupes video, which I'm going to link so you guys can see it was the Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal. This is their true match Lumi Glotion in L'Oreal light and i love this stuff you guys i showed you that it was a dupe for the becca backlight and underneath makeup mixed in with makeup used as a highlighter whatever you want it to do you want it on your body whatever you want it to do it's just going to give you just this subtle glow of light and it's just going to be just perfect for you if you're a mature woman that has texture because you can mix it into your foundation it doesn't seem to show up anything so let's say you have a really thick really matte foundation that your dry skin cannot handle try mixing something like this in with it and i bet that you're going to eventually end up loving that foundation so it really has been just one that i've really been enjoying and it's so pretty on the skin and then along with that another highlighter that i got and this is from milani this is their dolce perla baked highlighter so they're going off of their baked theme that they have with their blushes and i think they used to have a baked bronzer too so it doesn't look like it's going to be much of anything but remember on the sydney grace i talked about the it being just a lighting property on that that's what this one does it has just this beautiful light property to it so let's make sure that we get a difference between that glotion and this. So there it is right there. It's very, very pretty. It just looks like a, gl a gloss on your skin. It doesn't look like texture or anything. Of course, I don't wear any um, highlighter in this area because I do have large pores, so I stay away from there, but I do use it on my cheeks right here. And that is what I have on my cheeks for the day, just so you know. Love this stuff. I think it's fantastic. I also want to mention a blush from Milani that I got this month, and this 
this is the Cheek Kiss Blush, and this is in Rose Romance. And a teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny bit of this goes a long way. Now that is already kind of giving me a little bit out, so I just put a tiny bit on there. And I'm gonna show you the color. I love this color because it's the perfect color between um, pink and peach, and it gives you that flush of color on your skin without being too intense, without being too bright. And I think that any color skin could wear this. You can build it up so that it's a lot brighter than that. And then you can sheer it out if you're the palest of the pale like I am. And I love this. It's so soft and so easy to work with and it dries down. That's the, what I've kind of been doing when I've been comparing cream blushes. Some of them have an oily texture to them. That's not this. Even though it's very easy to blend and it's very easy to work with and build up, you can definitely tell that when it sets down, it's there. And that's what's nice about it. It's not gonna rub off, it's not gonna get on your phone, nothing like that. So I really do love that and I think it's so pretty for a pretty flush of color on your skin. And it looks really good over that uh, that uh, Lumi Glotion, doesn't it? It looks really good over All it. All right, and then I wanna talk about my loves from number seven this month. I did get the Lift and Luminate Serum Concealer. I heard a lot of people talk about this and say that they didn't like it for a concealer, but for a spot treatment, it was okay. I think that's because for one thing, they were using it too quickly. Lots of times, if you use a concealer, you put it on and you pat it out and you pat it out so far that you pat everything off and then it doesn't look good. What I like about it is I will just put it on, just barely spread it across a little bit, let it set there for a while while I'm doing other things on my face. And then I'll go back in and I'll just lightly go across it and dab it out so that it blends out and I really like it. I think it does a, good, a really good job and it's easy to layer for me too because I have the really dark parts right here that have to have extra. So I really like that, but I am absolutely in love with the number seven Lift and Luminate Pressed Powder. There goes the little plastic thing. Anyway, it has it's a compact form. You can throw this in your purse. This is the best powder. I have just been enjoying it nonstop. I wear this underneath my eyes. I wear it to set my makeup. It's getting warmer. I'm getting more hot flashes as time goes on. And this is going to be a lifesaver for me all um, summer long, I can tell you right now. It just gives a little bit of brightness without giving you know too much color at all. And I don't know if this comes in colors. It must, this is light. So this does come in colors. So it's going to be able to go for other skin types and give you that brightness. If you like that brightness around your eyes, just tiny, tiny bit goes a long way, but I love this. And then the last thing I got from the Sephora sale was the Marc Jacobs concealer stick. I know there's a specific name for this. Anyway, I really like this, you guys. Actually, one of you subscribers told me about this. Thank you so much. Um, and I really do appreciate this. And I like it because it is a creamy product that really works well underneath those dry, crepey under eyes. It does increase as long as you use a really light hand with something like this. I need to do an updated concealer routine. I have done one in the past, but for summer, it's a little bit different because I do go in with a powder a little bit more now. So I am gonna do that for you guys right away. And I'm also going to do Battle of the Drugstore Concealers for you guys. So look forward to all of those videos that I'm gonna be doing, the Sydney Gray's several looks in one. I haven't decided whether it's five or seven looks yet that I'm going to do with the Sydney Grace one. But um, then I will be doing the concealer one for you guys for sure. And then the battle of the drugstore concealers. This is going to be fun because I know that everybody is always looking for the Holy Grail concealer and we can't find it. <laughs> but I think I found a few that are really good. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to tell me in the comment section what you were liking for the month. If there was anything specific that you might have gotten shipped to you or if you had shopped your stash and maybe found something that you just f fell in love with all over again, I'd love to hear that too. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. It's supposed to get really hot where I am this weekend. I'm in Utah and it's supposed to get, get up into the 90s, bump from the 60s to the 90s. Crazy, I know. But if you're out in that hot weather make sure that you are taking care of yourself that is so very important so stay safe stay sanitized stay hydrated and i will catch you guys all in my very next video love you guys bye bye